Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel where we share safe real estate investment tips, talk about property law and share credible real estate investment opportunities here in Nigeria. Basically, every video on this channel is an asset to real estate investors and property buyers. Finally, on this channel, every subscriber is family, a family of millionaire real estate investors. Welcome. Hello and welcome to another episode on this channel. My name is Raymond E. Germa and I'm a real estate entrepreneur as well as a property lawyer here in Nigeria. So very, very quickly today, I'm going to be talking about how to safely and properly invest in real estate in Benin City or buy property or properties in Benin City without issues. Um, with respect, Benin uh, over time has been known or notorious for um, land disputes and by that specifically i mean people selling properties multiple to multiple buyers uh, after selling to the first person right and that has been being a very popular issue um, thankfully that the rate of that has reduced drastically quite sincerely it has however uh, there are still some elements that still go on to do that and this video is designed to help you invest safely in Benin City without issues. Of course, as I continue in the business, in the entrepreneurial journey and the property law angle of all of this, I, I, I learn more and I get more experience and I will always update you whenever such, um, such comes my way. All right. So yeah, my name is Raymond Ijoma and I'm a real estate entrepreneur as well as a property lawyer and uh, specifically if you haven't if you haven't subscribed to this channel do it to do so if you haven't um, do it to like the video because of course you are going to like what i'm going to share with you today drop a comment if you have one and do it to reach out whenever you have questions on the numbers that will be showing right on your screen so let's go quickly number one always corroborate every approval with a deed always corroborate every approval with a deed this is critical I'm not going to go into the specifics of what an approval is or the types of approval, but approval basically usually comes from the OBA or the, the, the community heads, the communities generally, all right? So ensure, ensure that when you buy a property in Benin City, don't restrict your ownership, your documentary proof to only an approval that is given to you by the community. Never ever do that never ever do that in itself it may be sufficient on customary basis i'm not going to go into the argument the legal argument of that all right my focus is giving you everything you should do so that you are strong enough your 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 proof of ownership is strong enough because remember i always say that um, civil cases which land land disputes fall under are determined on the preponderance of evidence. So the stronger your evidence, your proof of ownership, the better chances of you winning in case a dispute um, arises as it relates to your land. All right. So I'm not here to argue law. I'm here to tell you things from experience, entrepreneurial um, thoughts, and finding creating solutions around real estate transactions and helping clients. I'm now from that um, uh, platform bringing you solutions that would help you um, have good land transactions without issues all right so the point is most persons as f for with my three years of of, of uh, three years plus of doing land transactions in benin city going to court and all of that i i 97 percent of land transactions in benin only pick up the approval and leave it there. But here's my advice to you to, to limit the issues. Ensure that you corroborate every approval with a deed. A deed in itself is designed as a title document that transfers title from Mr. A to Mr. B. For me, it does more than that. It is an evidential tool it is, it is a great tool of evidence, especially the recital part, which I don't joke with, all right? So it's critical that you corroborate every land transaction with the deed. I do not intend going into so much details. You can always drop questions and I will respond to them. And number two, 
Never buy from a family member. Never buy a family property from a family member um, who that is selling in his individual capacity. And especially if he is not the family head. Generally, by law, um, when a family property is sold by just a member of the family, it is void. As in void, straight up, you know. But when you buy from um, a family head, it is voidable when a family member wakes up to say, hey, we did not do this and um, raises issues, all right? However, this is what I even do. When you are buying from a family, this is what I do for my transactions. And what I advise you to do, pick the head of the family and pick one or two other principal members in the family and let the three of them be transferors in the title document. That is a smart move. That way, you 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 create a formidable force that can withstand. This one says he's not aware. Look at the family here. This one says he's not aware. Two principal members are, are sufficient, highly sufficient. And then when, even when the court sees it, it's 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 largely a win. All right. So do that. That will really help um, creating a formidable formidable strength or, or creating a great or strong proof of ownership. And number three, never buy a community or communal land from people without authority. The considered authorities, custodians, or trustees of that particular communal land. All right. Um, this I'm saying this in context to my present conversation and not as against the Land Use Act. Because the Land Use Act already vested lands uh, within urban areas and uh, to the um, governor of the state. However, in the context of my conversations, there are some that land in Benin City, or there are land in, in Nigeria generally that that for some customary reasons, historical reasons, are, are um, some persons within those communities are seen or are, are, are designated as custodians of those communal lands and as trustees who now hold such in trust for and on behalf of the entire people of the land of the of the, of the community. All right, and that bestows on them the right to sell. All right, when you are buying from a community, ensure that you are not buying from someone in his individual capacity. If you are buying from the secretary, don't buy from him as an individual. He must, and then in, in many communities, even outside Benin City, when people are selling land as communities, there are people who are designated authorities who must must be involved, must sign such transactions. There are some, some areas that they are up to 40. I've seen a community in Enugu where there are up to 30 people who signed such transfers of land. All right. And the approver has a way of stating out the head and some elders, secretaries, youth chairman and all of that, depending on the specific community. All right. So what you should do is to ensure that even in your deed, pick the head and principal members of people who recommended the approval of that particular land to that individual. Pick all of them, pick the head or at least three other persons or two who are seen or written in the, uh, whose name appeared on the approval and ensure that they, they ensure that they all sign the document. And never again, the point is don't, do not buy a communal land or community land from an individual in its individual capacity. Number four, Ask questions from individuals as do you are stupid. I've done this a couple of times. Like the first time I did it, I really sounded stupid. And yes, it worked. So here is it. Ensure that you ask questions as do you are stupid because certainly you are going to get good answers that will help you in the course of transacting um, anywhere, even in Benin City. All right. And um, um, yeah, keep someone close if you can. If there are people around, keep someone close to help you keep watch after the land. The number seven, the next, uh, stay close to. The sellers, make them friends. Try, try, stay close to the seller. I remember one of these transactions that we did, and we bought wine, specifically the client, bought wine to the seller. And the seller opened up. He, ha he had a lot, lots, a, plot, a lot of land. And he opened up and said, since he has been selling land, he has never seen any client like this particular one. And yes, the client became a special client. And he naturally, the seller, would would carry your matter on his head you know that kind of gist so try and stay close to the seller and build a relationship establish a relationship if you can 
And that's number seven, all right? And I'll give a bonus to make it uh, 10 or 11. Yeah. So number one, if you can, after buying the land, closing your transactions, after, if you can, number one, survey the land. Number two, fancy. Number three, a rent structure. Number four, get a CFO on the land. Uh, that will be basically all I have for you. And remember, based on experience and being in the field of play, as, as I continually grow in the field of play or gaming in the field of, of, of play, I'd continually update you when there is need, all right? And that 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 will be all. Remember that this video is powered by Fortune Ray Limited, a real estate company registered here in Nigeria to carry out investment or client sale of properties, um, consultancy, property management, property supervision, project management, and, and anything related to real estate transactions or real estate in Nigeria. We're available to serve as errand company for you as an errand company for you in all your real estate transactions, including and not limited to what I, I referred to just shortly. All right. And yes, if you haven't subscribed, where to subscribe. If you like what you just watch, like the video, drop a comment, reach out to the number showing right on your screen. I will be available to respond to you and as soon as we can thank you so much and do it to check out my other amazing content on real estate and property law tours around the city and then of course real estate investment opportunities here in nigeria come on come on come on all right enjoy the rest of your day bye bye